guys hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl yechi here and today we have a frontal okay i love frontal videos because i feel like i really get to teach you guys you know about how to install we grew last week i just you know throw it on and you know that's it but today we have a frontal and i'm going to walk you through the steps on how to achieve like neat like see neat install here with this gorgeous unit from ali pearl this is like my I, I'm, I can't really remember maybe like third or fourth week and they keep on doing the Lord's work Okay, especially when it comes to straight hair because I have another straight hair from them But this one it's not black like the other one that I have this one is chocolate brown I love the brown like it, it suits me It's for me. It complements my skin color. I love it so much. So this hair is in 22 inches Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the install let you guys know my thoughts on the hair and just maybe style is in a different way for you guys to see you ready let's go okay guys let's get into our box so our units came in this box then of course we have other goodies in here we got ourselves the hd wig cap which i absolutely love because it has good stretch and we also got ourselves a drawstring bag that i'm gonna put my wig in after this video we have the melting band which i use to melt my lace all the time we got the brushes if you want to do some baby hair or you know brush your normal hair to the back before you install and we have ourselves a very cute mirror now our units we have the silky straight wig in 22 inches it came with a 13 by 4 hd lace frontal and the density is 200 percent the color of this hair is the number four dark brown the lace is pre-plucked and it is also pre-bleached like y'all see that bleaching like it looks so so good honestly we have the elastic band on the inside and then we have combs to secure it to your head very well I love how natural this looks already and let's throw this on guys so straight out of the box this is what we have this is how the hairline is looking i absolutely love this and the bleaching of these knots like it was actually done so so well okay i'm a bit nervous for this one because when you're installing straight hair you literally have to be perfect okay i feel like with curly hair wavy hair a lot of things can fly but with straight hair especially when you're not doing maybe hair and i don't hope to do that today it has to be like perfect so yeah my hands are a bit shaky plus it's not black hair my normal hair is black so even when you make mistakes because like the hair is like black everything can just kind of like blend in but this one is not black it is brown um but i love the color so much and i think we're gonna make it work and it's going to come out like really really well um so i want to mark out the air tabs first of all by the sides here then cut the extra lace and then tint it before we start to do any gluing down to mark out where i need to cut i'm going in with a pencil this one you can use anything just anything that can draw honestly on the lace like make a mark that is visible the good thing about this lace is that all the hair is already like to the back so i did not need to go with my hot comb that's why when i unbox i literally show you guys how it comes like from packaging i bring it out for you guys to see and i didn't go in with any heat any hair mousse to get all the hair to the back nothing so straight out of the box this is how it comes and I honestly think that's really good because it saves you like a lot of time. Okay, so I need to mark this properly because if you miss it here, you, you, you can't miss your whole install to be honest. Guys, so it's time to tint. So I'm going in with a brush and then some foundation. This one is like two shades or maybe more let it actually two shades darker than i am so yeah that's what i'm gonna use so you want to get something darker than your normal color i cannot overemphasize how important this is and i'm just going to spread this all over with a brush <laughs> All right, I'm, every time I try on brown hair, I get like so excited because I just feel like brown hair, like if my normal hair was brown, mm, it would actually be so mad. Um, 
I love this color on me like so much like the chocolate brown it's amazing it looks beautiful okay and I just hope the total install comes together because now this looks so so good okay so we're gonna start working on the lace properly now so we're going to do our usual cutting the hair into three sections so one this section this middle part and then the side one okay I you see people that go like through the glue all at once you are brave you are very very brave because hmm, I could never are you guys ready because I'm ready so I'm using this adhesive spray to install I love this so much for my frontal it just holds it down well I don't use the glue glue I haven't used the glue glue in like ages honestly Guys, I'm not sure what's going on with my lights. Like I'm using natural lights and it's looking like it's about to get really gloomy in here. But this install, we must finish it, okay? So I'm going in with the melting band for a minute or two. Now one mistake that people make is reaching for the melting band too early. Your melting band is to melt lace that's already been laid. It has already been laid, not that the glue is still tacky, it hasn't dried and you're reaching for your melting band you are just going to glue the band to your head because your glue has not dried yet, okay? So you need to dry your glue first of all. Let it get tacky, then put the lace on it. It's just like applying like lashes, all right? Let it get tacky, put your lace on it, and then use your blow dryer. Don't leave your blow dryer just yet. If you don't have your blow dryer, you might just need to maybe um, just run your comb through it till it's dry then go in with your melting band okay when you go in with your melting band too early it would it can mess up the whole thing you have a lot of like white patches you know residue build up all of that please 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 don't grab your melting band too early wait a little while okay wait a little while let things dry then grab your melting band we good so it's time for us to cut i'm still going to cut using the sections that i've created so for my new cutting technique it differs i think it's just because of my hand control and also for safety reasons because i've cut my hair here before <laughs> not my hair my head like my skin i have done that before so now what i do is on the sides i use razor just because my hand is easier to move down the sides than across on the like i feel like i would enjoy myself okay so blade blade scissors yeah So it's time for me to take off this band let's do the reveal um because i wanted it to be really tight i actually tied the band at the back so i tied it first of all then i you know pressed it together with the velcro so it's not attaching to everything um so that's something you can do i do recommend doing this when you're going to bed you wake up with serious headache <laughs> So to take care of any whitishness i'm going in with this spritz mousse this product is like holy girl for me at the moment i use it for a lot of things to curl my hair to lay my um closures glueless closures and then to like take off the whitishness and you know it helps with like the melt as well an alternative is this um, melting spray you can use this i use this like 
when I feel like there are still a few loopholes because this is like stronger than this. This is almost like a glue, honestly. Like the hold of this is so strong. So I don't use this when I feel like most of the work is done because it could leave some like products build up when it's not like done well. <laughs> Guys, I don't know at what point my camera stopped recording, but it suddenly stopped recording while I was still filming. But the only thing that I skipped, like the camera did not pick, is going in with foundation that is like two shades darker. The same one that I used to tint the lace, same foundation, but I went in with a smaller brush, so I'm able to like, you know, really focus on just where I want it to be darker. Um, so I did that on this side, and then I did that on this side as well. And here is what we have. I still have a lot of like glue on my face. Like if you see here, you can tell cause it's like shiny. I'm gonna take care of that when I'm doing my makeup. So I, I usually like wipe the corners of my frontal first of all, before I go in to like do my makeup because it doesn't even look good when makeup is like on top of the glue. So that's what I need to take care of for that would be while I'm doing my makeup. Um, you can use like wipes you know that is damp with this adhesive glue like water takes it off i would say quite well um if you're using something stronger then you can use alcohol just take a little bit of alcohol and like a cutting pad or a cutting like um foam or something and just put it on it wait for a little while then just rub it and you know everything should come out really well so i just went in with the foundation just to tint it a little bit and to ensure you have that really good finish and this is the result of our install today am i impressed definitely i'm impressed because it looks neat and that's actually what i was going for so i learned this new technique of applying concealer to your middle part or any part that you have but i think it works best for middle part and that is to put the concealer on like the tail of your comb then do a swoop I want to try it today. I hope it comes out well. So I'm going in on one side. Okay, so we have the concealer here. And um, let me get, because my eyes are playing tricks on me. Let me get the right part. Okay. And then. Is it just me or did this thing not do anything? Is that a difference from your side? <laughs> I am praying to God that this pattern is the middle of my head. I'm just praying to God because I don't have it in me to open up a new pattern. But I think it is. Well, I hope it is. If it's not, you guys bear with me. So I'm going to beat my face. I will also clean off like the excess glue on my face. Come back and then we work on the rest of the hair. But so far, so good. I think we have ourselves a nice install. The lace definitely did what it was meant to do and it came out really well. So let's beat this face, okay? Guys, so I'm back from my makeup break and our install is still looking neat, still looking good, okay? I'm gonna go in with some, like my hot comb. Um, I kind of want the front to be just a little bit more perfect. So just take it to the back. I want it to go to the back then fall to the front so you have that oomph there. Guys, here's our final, final, final look. And I love it. Like I love how neat and simple this is. I'm a, I'm a neat install, simple install girl, like any day, any time. Okay, and this is just so lovely. Like this hairline, I like that it came pre-plucked, so I did not need to pluck. All the hair was already taken to the back. So straight out of the box, start spraying, start gluing down because that's all you need to do, okay? And the hair length, the texture of the hair is like silky straight, first of all. Like when I brought it out of the box, I was like, okay, this is straight, but is it going to give me silky straight? I wasn't sure of that, but like putting it on my head and like brushing through is giving me silky straight. This is the length of the hair. I have 20, 22 inches here. So it's like, yeah, the longest part is like my waist, honestly. And I think that's like where 22 inches should actually reach you maybe it's a bit longer than normal 22 inches but 
I don't think I have 22 inches straight. I think I have curled. Now, you guys don't know what I'm tempted to do. I'm tempted to, you know, just go in with some scissors and just cut it like here because this will look so good, like bone straight, like blunt cut. I feel like it will look really, really fabulous, but that's just my thoughts my intrusive thoughts trying to win and it's not going to win today okay because i like the full length of this the texture so beautiful i didn't use heat on this hair like i didn't use heat like to straighten it i know i said i might but i did not need to and i just feel like yeah, looks good the way it is like to take care of the fly hairs you just need to go in like after you use your hot comb just some hairspray press it down and that's literally all you need to do to ensure that your fly hairs are taken care of and you have that neat like silky install i love this middle part i don't see myself opening up another parting i might try a different hairstyle with this middle part because i like to show you guys how to style your wigs like in a different way all the time so maybe i might i think I'm, I'm thinking of something i have like a new collection on pinterest just called hairstyles so i look for hairstyles that i can recreate for you guys here um so i think i'm gonna pull off one from there and just quickly do maybe like a very quick updo you can do in the morning because i mean you have a nice install you have a front towel you cannot you cannot not be getting creative okay so for our next hairstyle i've actually done something similar to this on this channel before but i don't think i've done it with straight hair before and that's what i really want to try so i'm going to section some in front to serve as the base take it to the back and then have like half up half down at the back yeah just follow as i do because i don't know how to explain it <laughs> Guys, so this is the hairstyle. It's just something different from like laying your hair down. I've tried this on curly hair, like very curly hair. I've tried this on wavy hair and now on straight hair. It's just a very nice hairstyle that you should know how to do because it can save you on days you just want some extraness, okay? So I just let hair, you know, sleep, okay? Tied it at the back. You want it to be quite firm, but even if it's like moving, you can just use your hand and then pull it so let me just do that so just pull it and then it tightens it at the back have some up you know pack everything together and then take some claw clip please try to use a claw clip smaller than the one that i use because this claw clip that i use is quite big um but it still did the work and from what i can see in my viewfinder here it's not so visible but i absolutely love this unit i must say that the shedding with this was minimal this hair density is 200 percent density when you're buying straight hair i advise not to get anything below 200 percent ask me why now with straight hair i mean the texture of the hair especially when it's silky it's very high probability for it to look not as dense okay so 200 200%, 250 in hair. Go for that, okay? So you still get good volume like I have with this one. If you're going for like 150, it might look scanty. So this unit is 13 by four HD lace frontal and the lace is lacing, okay? <laughs> Very easy to install. All the hair was already to the back. It's pre-plugged, so you don't need anyone to pluck it for you. And if you don't know how to pluck, then you're welcome. <laughs> It came in 22 inches. They have it available in different lengths. So if you want to go higher or lower, depending on your budget, 
feel free all right 200 percent density as well and that's it for the specifications of this hair i love this unit i do think it's a very very good buy because having like a different color in your in your collection your hair collection would you know just add some flavor to it honestly so some days you want to step out looking a tad bit different just bring out the brown hair and i feel like this color really suits my skin this shade of brown chef kiss i hope you guys enjoyed this install this video talking about this hair walking you guys through how to install your frontal by now you guys should be pros okay you guys should be pros and if you've been watching my videos and you're like i don't want to mess it up i don't want to mess it up um just start honestly like it just it took me like one day to like give it a shot and i'm like okay if it doesn't come out well it doesn't come out well if it comes out well then yippee and um, watch different videos tweak your technique from time to time i hope you guys enjoyed this one once again let me know if you have questions about this unit and i'll see you guys in my next video which should be a vlog hopefully it should be a vlog bye my loves